Hello friends, today I am going to show you one of the interview question why my service broker is getting disabled when I am restoring the database. So now this is one of the question. Now let's see uh, we are like uh, where we can see the service broker is enabled and GUI. So as of now if you see select star from sys.databases we can get this information whether service broker is enabled or not. If it is 0 it can, I mean it is not enabled if it is 1 it is enabled. Okay as of now uh, the service broker is enabled on tempdb on msdb on demodb database. Okay so I am creating a database here. Now if I check here again when I newly created a database it got service broker will be uh, by default get enabled when we have created a database and this is a GUID okay now I am running one dbcc check db command on test db newly created so where can I find this all this information means uh, GUID you can get it from there or otherwise uh, you can get it from database properties and go to options uh, here we can see broker is enabled if it is false you can check it on it you can find the GUID as well otherwise in other case you can get it from dbcc boot page as well dbcc info test tv now you can get here you can go through dba service broker here you can get it from here as well this information is stored in the especially in the boot page only okay now i am taking the backup of the database so now i'm just uh, deleting any old backups or not i am deleting old one okay and i am trying to take the new backup and i am restoring the database i am restoring the database with the under with the new name or the new files okay so now sir, I so I am restoring that from here to here. I am just uh, copying. I am just removing this word. I am just trying to restore. It got restored. Now if I see here, um, I will come down. Now I will take this. Way. See, for test, uh, for same copy, I have restored with the another name. So same boot information service broker ID will be matched here. Okay, that's the reason. That's the reason you are not getting uh, service broker enabled because we are getting same service broker ID. This is one of the reason why your service broker is not enabling when you are trying to restore the database. Okay, well, let, let's assume that you have deleted the database this one and you are trying to restore this database at that time it will get restored this is one of the scenario okay now otherwise you want to restore with the same uh, you want to restore with the another name but you want to enable the service broker then you have to use this command new comma underscore new broker i am restoring the database with another name so that service broker is enabled and service broker GUID will also will get changed. Now if I do click no broker, now it is done. Now if I see here, see service broker got enabled and GEO broker ID GUID has also got changed. So this is how um, you need to answer in the interview. And some there could be another scenarios, but uh, this scenario might helpful to uh, answer in the interview. Okay. Uh, I hope you may like this video. Please like, share and uh, comment your uh, feedback. Bye.